All right, hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. Um, and today we've got a brand new game for you called Greater Than. Now, to play this game, all you need is something to write with and a piece of paper. Now, we have ruled up a game board and it's very, very simple to make yourself. It's probably simpler to make yourself than it is to print off an attachment. So it's just simply uh, three columns by six rows and each player has their own game board. So Nash has got one over here. And I've got one here, as you can see, Daddy. 14, 14, 15. Okay, now, the way you play is, and then you need three uh, zero to nine dice if you're playing a three-digit version. Now, if you don't have zero to nine dice, the simple substitute is just a deck of cards, and you'd be going from zero to nine. So queens being zeros, aces being ones. So you'd pick off three cards, and you'd use those three cards to make a three-digit number. But today, Nash and I have decided we're going with dice. Yeah. Alright, so Nashie, do you remember how to play this or not really? Alright, I'll explain the rules really quickly. So, the way it works is, I roll and I get a number. So, I've got a 1, a 2 and a 7. Now, the aim is to make the largest number that you can, okay? So, I'm going to make 720. Oh, I think I have a one. number. You do? Okay. Now, 721. Because it's the first turn, it doesn't really matter where I put it. I can put it anywhere on the board. Now, I can't split the digits up. They've got to go in the one row. So I'm just going to put it in the middle here. 721. Hi. It would be Nash's turn. So Nash, you take the dice. Hmm. 986. I'll beat you then. Okay, now, just pause for a second, Nash. So Nash has a decision to make. He can write the number in any of his five spots he wants. Now, Nash, do you know where you're going to put it? Yeah. Where? To, to win this box. Again. Uh, so you're going to put it in the middle to line up with my one, and why are you putting it there? So I win. You, so you get that point. Yeah. Beautiful. Write it in. What's the number? 996. Okay, write it in. Okay, so now the game continues in that way, and um, on each turn, you've got a decision to make about how to organise the digits and also where to put the number. So I'm going to put 442 in the top. Nash, your turn. And obviously, the person, the winning player is going to be... Nash, you bring them over here so we can see them, gorgeous, under the board. The winning player is going to be the person who has the most... Uh, wins out of the five numbers when you can. I think I'll be able to get to 442. I'm going to put nine in that box. Okay, so what's the number? Actually, in that box. Ah, okay. I like your thinking. All right, write it in. Can I ask why you didn't go for the top box? Because it would be easy to get to bigger than four. So you're pretty confident you're going to be able to beat this number yeah. later on. All right, Not like, good thinking, Nash. Six. 964. So now it's my turn. So I've got 743. So I'm not going to put my number there because that would be a bad move. So I'm going to stick it down here. 743. Nashi, your turn. Okay, 483. I'll be two there. Okay, put it in. I could still change it to eight and I'll still be two. But you don't, you're not going to do that. Four. Three. Comes okay, so my turn. So I roll and I get a nine. No, no, that was a nine, Nash. I just knocked it. A 930. And I still can't beat you there, so I'm going to put that down. Ah, yes. The bottom of the board. Your turn, Nashi. Still can't beat me there. The next one, you have to put it there, and I'll have to win the box. All right, pretty easy. Nine hundred and eighty-seven. That's a good roll. I'm actually going to spot those. I'll still win. I got that <laughs> box. Okay, put it in the bottom. Nine hundred and seventy. Great thinking, Nash. I, and I could ask a question. Why did you put it in the bottom instead of there? Because it's, because it's a, I don't know. But... Okay, because there's a, obviously that's a good move you did there, but there's a bit of strategy that's happening. All right, my last roll. 
and I get 760. So I'm going to lose that box. Yep. And your roll here. Oh my goodness, Nash. 900. I got nines in nearly all of them. Yep. I need to what I need Beautiful. So work out, write it down. Okay, so now the final step is to go through and compare Can each I row. Yeah, so you tell us first row, Nashi, who wins. Nashi! Now, how do you know you win, Nash, in that first row? The numbers. But which Not part of the number tells you? This one. The tens? Yeah, all that one there. So which, but I'm asking which oh, column. This one, eh? So why does why do we look at the tens for that one? Because the four, four, we have the same. So four hundreds the same. Yeah. Eight tens, four tens. Okay, so then Nash gets a tick for the first one. Second one, Nash? Nine to seven. But don't stop, stop, stop. I don't want you to say nine to seven. I want you to actually nine talk about the actual number. So nine hundred to seven. Seven hundred. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be thinking about in place value. Tick. Yeah. Nine hundred to seven hundred. Beautiful. Well, look at you. So that's greater than guys, really easy to play. You can obviously make it more simpler or more complex depending on who you're working with. If you want to go with a two digit version, you'd need two dice or you'd be taking two cards. You can extend it to larger numbers. Um, you can also use six sided dice if you don't have 10 sided dice. Um, and another really good extension of this game is to use it working with decimal numbers and then you're comparing decimals. Hope you enjoy it and um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.